that is a pretty sight, if I do say so myself. We got some Guilds of Ravnica Standard Showdown. Eight packs to crack, Jack. These things are pretty nasty. You can get these at your LGS for participating in events. So make sure you go to LGS and get up in it. Or you can do what I did and take yourself to eBay and purchase them for, I think they're going for 12 to 16 bucks right now, a pop. Not cheap. Also, I got a little something from my boy Trey Wright. I'm gonna crack that open uh, some point in the middle of this video. I do appreciate anyone that sends stuff to my P.O. box. That Oh boy, starting off with a mythic? Is that right? Nope, nope, oh, read it wrong. Unbelievable. Also, shout outs to Arn Eagle, Chris Nelson, John Higby, Ken Jensen, Dylan Lake, Sebastian Saylor, and Eric Fuhrman. You guys are the bomb. Right of Belzenlock to start things off. Ooh, followed by the Galta Primal Hunger. It's still a nasty card. It really is. Um, the only thing that troubles me in this standard that we're in right now is so much removal and counters. Like, everyone wants to run these uh, these counter decks, and I don't blame them. I mean, they're pretty good. But holy smokes, man, enough is enough. Knock it off already, you know? <laughs> island, uh, of course, that, that would follow the, the, the Galta, wouldn't it? Uh, we got the old island by Elena Danner. Rhymes with Danner. There you go. And a Famished Paladin foil. They always tend to put the uh, the foils, if they're uncommon, as the more sought after or desirable, desired uh, uncommons. So there you go. Now you know. Learn something new every day, don't you? Is it worth it to spend 15 bucks? Oh my god. Shut up. These things are so good. The Dawnbringer. Oh, man. Flying, First Strike, Lifelink. Other energy you control get plus one, plus one, and have Lifelink. Such a nasty deck. Right now, currently, the standard, uh, the Boros, is number one. Uh, but that was at the Star City Games. Other decks also reign supreme. I think there's a control build right now that's number one as well. I'll be making a deck on that. Also, check out the Mythic box. We opened a Mythic Edition box. Yes, we did. Uh, we cracked open a Mythic Edition booster box. Pretty ridiculous. And the rares in it were just odd. Like, we had so many duplicates. It was just crazy. But you got to check that out. Uh, the Marwin the Nurturer, not bad. Followed by a Swampy. And a Deep Root Waters foil. I honestly, you know, I was hoping for a little something better in that slot. I really, really was. But you can't go home a winner every day, can you? Let's check it out. What do we got? What do we got? Is that a Hassan? It's an Isolate. Okay, we got the Isolate. Ooh, got to be careful. Crikey, mate. Got to be careful opening these. Get all torn up, mixed around. There we go. Isolate. Exile target permanent with converted mana cost one. Followed by... Ooh, got it. Got a little crazy there. Glorious Rebirth. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Anyone ever use that? Has it worked out for you? I'd love to know about it. Uh, forest and... Ooh! Oh, my God! Friggin' foil steam vents. Son of a beanbag. Oh, my gosh, man. That is insane. Uh, something I got to point out. In yesterday's video, uh, a few people were like, man, I just didn't like the fake hype when you opened up... Uh, um, the Planeswalkers in those Mythic Edition, like you knew they were going to be there. Like that was just you being fake. And I'm like, yeah, you must not really watch the channel a lot because uh, in the live stream, a lot of people said when you get the Planeswalkers, when you pull them, can you skadoosh? You know, could you get excited? And I said, for sure, man. So if you missed the live stream, sorry about that. But that is the reason we got a little crazy when we opened up. Uh... Oh my God! Shot it! Oh my god, that what is going on here? These are stupid good. Oh my gosh. Two Dawnbringers already. Two Dawnbringers. What? You gotta be kidding me. Whoa, it's like a duplicate. Didn't we have this last time? And the Marwin the Nurturer. And we got an island, followed by a World Shaper. Okay, that mixed it up. Unbelievable pack so far. Right now, if you ask me, are these worth 10 to 15 bucks? I would have to say yes. Uh, just based on what we pulled so far. If you compare that to spending 15 bucks on three booster packs, 
um, or four, you know, the price of what, three, four booster packs, your odds are much better uh, with this. Dark Dweller. Your odds of pulling some uh, some goodness are a lot better. Dark Dweller Oracle, Goblin Shaman. For one, sacrifice a creature, exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn. All right, all right, fair. Helm of the Host, can't go wrong with that. Ah, there we go, landline ringing. Helm of the Host, at the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except a token isn't legendary. If equipped creature is legendary, that token gains haste. Sweet little card there. What's going to be the foil? Oh, man, oh, man. Thief of Sanity Foil. Sweet card. As you guys know, whenever Thief of Sanity deals combat damage to a player, look at the top three cards of that player's library. Exile one of them face down and put the rest into their graveyard. For as long as that card remains exiled, you may look at it. You may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. It's funny it says you may look at it, but I guess it has to because they're going to put it face down. I can't think that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. These have been wild. I don't know what to say. Uh, Sorceress Spyglass. Um, and as a battlefield, look at an opponent's hand, then choose any card name. Activated abilities of sources with a chosen name can't be activated unless they are mana abilities. Oh, you are gorgeous. Tristani Discordant Mythic. Other creatures you control get the plus one, plus one. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, create two 1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens with a lifelink. At the beginning of your end step, each player gains control of all creatures they own. Nasty. With a planes and a daring buccaneer foil to finish out that pack. Pretty freaking strong start. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's see what uh, Trey sent. Trey, I do appreciate you sending this out, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what's in it. Hopefully I didn't just rip up whatever you sent. I do have to take a look. <laughs> He's that money. Trey, I'm rich. You could have sent two cents. It would work. <laughs> um, I do tell people if you're going to send me something, just include return postage, but I guess he went this way. All right, I had to pull this back because uh, I wanted to check for anything uh, that would indicate a uh, shipping address. Okay. Okay. Mm, no address. Joey Moss, when I first noticed the uh, gamer tag Joey Moss on Arena, I didn't think it was you, but when I was hit with an infinite zombie ballistic combo, I knew it was. Oh my god, that was you, bro! And when you posted the video on the 16th of September, <laughs> uh, it, it, uh, it, it definitely confirmed it. If you could please sign the following cards, I found it fitting to be the combo pieces that were used. Get out of here! I have added one spirit token for you that I uh, acquired at a modern regionals. Nice, man. You were right. I knew I messed up with my uh, with my plus of the fury when the combo started. Literal face palm. Thanks, Trey two eight zero four zero. Your YouTube ballista zombie combo. <laughs> no way, man. That's crazy. I, I that, that's nuts. That's awesome. You sent that. That is awesome. You sent that. All right. So I got some stuff to sign here. What do you got? What we got up in here? The Metallic Mimic, noise, noise, with the Walking Ballista. Uh, Liliana, Untouched by Death. No way, you put all the pieces in here. And the Arcane Adaptation. Yeah, great. I will gladly sign all of these for you, brother. Uh, really, really cool. Um, that that That's something special. That's something special. That's really cool. That's, that's unique. Uh, for me, a creature's, creature token. What we got in here, man? Let's take a gander, see what's up in here. Yeah. Trey, I'm going to need you to email me, though, buddy, because I uh, blacked out your address, so I don't have it anymore. How do I get up in here without destroying it? Give me some scissors. Give me some scissors. This is really neat. Sorry, guys. One second here. I'm a little slow sometimes. You'll have to forgive me. <clears throat> that is dirty. So that's a custom one you made, huh? Oh, that's the regional champion one. That's right. No way. That's sweet, dude. You acquired that. I will put this up, even though I wasn't uh, at the regional championship. I'll remember I beat a regional champion, know what I'm saying? There we go. All right. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That was pretty cool. I will definitely get these signed and return to you. Email me at mossbergswerve at gmail.com. It should be in the link. Uh, there should be a, it should be in the description of every video. Holy smokes. Small world, huh? That is nuts. Ooh, we got a duel. Hinterland Harbor. All up in it. We'll take it. With a bounty of might. Followed by a foil forest and a justice strike foil. Can't get enough of your foilage, babe. One last pack to crack. Guild of Ravnica. 
Mythic Edition. Make sure you go check that box out. Awesome opening. World Shaper. Overgrown Tomb. Wow, man. Just talk about hit after hit after hit. So many hits were in this. And a Thunderherd Migration Foil. So I, I, I think these are some of the better ones that they've done. They definitely juiced up the rare and mythic slot, it seems. Um, but the foil is lacking. Always something with these. Definitely awesome, though. If you guys ever open one of these, let me know. Um, and yeah, hit up your LGS. And I do appreciate your likes. And make sure you hit that bell button. It means a lot. As always, guys, PLA.